Doctors say there are some medical scenarios that have traditionally been hard to train for, including the business of having a baby. Many different scenarios can occur during childbirth, and Geisinger just invested in a lifelike robot mom and baby to help them train. That's tonight's Health Watch 16 report. Health Watch 16 is sponsored by Geisinger Health System. You're invited to a baby shower. This is Victoria, an obstetric simulator that can be programmed for various birth scenarios. Notice how she blinks. Well, thank you everybody for coming. Hi, Victoria, thank you for coming to my baby shower. And interrupts Dr. Marcel Favetta and members of an OBGYN team here at Geisinger Wyoming Valley Medical Center near Wilkesbury. Dr. Favetta calls Victoria big time. This, he says, is what bigger hospital systems use to train their birthing teams. We're trying to train all our doctors, our nursing staff, our PAs, our midwives, uh, just uh, about a lot of the different scenarios that come up. OBGYN Dr. Manny Aragine says most of the time everything goes well in a delivery room. The baby's coming! But Victoria allows them to better plan for the times that don't. We can begin to plan for, we can begin to prep for, and more importantly, we can begin to train over and over so that we're not expecting that scenario to come up once every six months, once a month, but we're going to actually be able to plan for those scenarios a lot more frequently. Victoria's multiple sensors are meant to give officials as lifelike a situation as possible. They can start IVs, take blood pressure, check a heart rate. This is the worst pain ever! And even walk the team through steps they'll need to think about during a real-life delivery. <laughs> This scenario, thankfully, successful and happy. And baby's out. Here we go. As an obstetrics, the one thing that's really important is time is of the essence. So the fact that you can train over and over again uh, makes that really, really um, beneficial. And Victoria and Tori, the baby, will be traveling throughout Geisinger's hospitals in the Northeast, including the one in South Wilkesbury and at Geisinger CMC in Scranton. Very